And boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com and from the Real Illusion Forum and, of course, my channel. Uh, somebody was having trouble with this particular rugby uniform, they said. So I thought I would uh, check it out and see if I could see any issues with it. And there are a few issues um, that have something peculiar to them. So I thought I would go over them. Maybe it'll help you and maybe it'll show him how to do this. So first thing is, when this comes in, the socks uh, is called a shoe. This often will happen, you know. This The socks is, <laughs> is not another shoe. You need to change that to a uh, cloth because otherwise you'll end up with, with two shoes, which is not a good thing. So you got to be careful as the stuff comes in there. That's one little minor thing, not, not a huge thing. Um, so this rugby outfit comes in, and he says... Uh, that he was able to get it, I guess, okay in Character Creator, but when he applied it to iClone, it didn't work. So uh, here it is in Character Creator. We've talked about this before. You have to apply the the weights to this uniform. So, for example, if I put this uh, character in a pose, like just this normal like walking pose, you'll see the skin starts to come through in various places. And <coughs> Excuse me, in the very last video we posted, we always talked about transferring the skin weights. So we need to do that, um, and I'm going to show you, we'll, we'll transfer the default weight over. The default weight works a lot of times when there's not any other weights. Um, not always, but we'll, we'll do that. We'll transfer the skin weight for the default uh, things for both of these, and then we'll take a look at some things here. So in the default weights, um, this is okay. Um, you'll see that, that most everything looks all right when it's conformed, but there's a little problem in the crotch area here. So you notice how that's, that's kind of uh, deformed there. Uh, when, you, when you get this kind of area, the one thing you can do, you can try loading in an actual weight from a similar type item. So if I go to transfer skin weights, this is one thing you can do is go to file and then browse. And then you can go here in the pants. There's other shorts here. So it's always a good idea to try similar uh, items and see if the weights will work better for that particular uh, thing. In this particular case, they don't actually solve the problem, but they give a little bit of different weighting around this area here. So it's not bad, but there's, there's a problem and you can see it right here. What, what happens is in terms of the weighting is that some of the weights uh, from some areas are, are um, here, I'll show you. We'll, we'll go into it. So we're going to go into skin weights. I'm not really good at this, and I don't do a lot of this, because quite honestly, when the clothing doesn't really work the way I want it to, I, I've got so much clothing, I don't worry about it. But in this particular case, we want, we want to uh, take away... What's happening is this bone here is pulling this, these vertices from this leg over incorrectly. So first of all, we have to find that bone, and it's usually always the twist bone. So we're going to come down here to the the thigh twist, and you can see that, that this thigh is, is pulling that, but that's not really the one we want. So we go to the right thigh, and so the right thigh has some influence on those vertices, which it shouldn't have. So we go to the minus, and we'll, whoops, we'll go way in here, and we'll start, we'll start removing the influence from these uh, items here. And as we, as we click here to remove it, you can see that the, uh, the items start to behave a little bit better. Uh, that get there a little bit sometimes, and sometimes you gotta, you know, kind of turn it around and kind of get there to where you can work on this. I'm not, like I say, I'm not the greatest on this, and usually I don't. If it's the clothing's really kind of squirrely, I don't bother too much. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, we want to get rid of all the influence of that bone there, and that's pretty much it. Now, then we want to go to the other bone on the other side, and we want to increase the influence of that. We would like to get it uh, to be higher. So we'll go plus, and we want that to pull that over onto that side. So if we now go into there and then adjust those, you can see that then that pulls it back to where it belongs. So, so by doing that, you know, you, you get your, um, your vertices to be, to be in the right spot. And we still have to do that a little bit on this other thigh position, but I, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this as I just wanted to show you that that's how you would fix those particular uh, items. And and then he says, and so, but I don't know that that's his problem because he says it breaks through an eye clone. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and we'll apply this. Go ahead and export this and send the character to eye clone. And here in eye clone, this will come in and um, just 
comes in. <laughs> it's real simple. Uh, there, there it is. And so we're going to put a, another, uh, just a standard animation here on this. And we'll, then we'll take a look at it. And uh, Oh, and, and you notice something that happens. This is, <laughs> notice how he disappears there. His legs have disappeared. Well, what's happened is when we, in, when we edited those skin weights, for some reason it hides the, the mesh for the, uh, the avatar, and that's a bug. There's, there's no question about it, that's a problem. I'll have to report that to the powers that be. So, uh, so we'll have to go into Edit Mesh and take off Ignore Back Faces, go here, and then we'll just go ahead and make sure that these verts are being shown. So, you know, that sort of thing. So now we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll export it and we'll send the character to iClone again, and, and hopefully we'll get his legs back because he looks kind of weird without his legs, but that's those are all things that happen, and so it's good for you guys to know how to fix this stuff when that does happen. So anyway, so there we go. So we got we got his legs back. So now he's moving around, and I don't you know I don't see any poke through. I'm not sure where this guy is having issues. This actually this clothing looks pretty good. Uh, I probably would go ahead and put some physics on some of these edges here, and there may be a little tiny bit of poke through underneath here, the shirt over the pants, but I don't even really see that. So I don't know where his problem is. I Maybe he just didn't go ahead and transfer the weights as I told him to do. So anyway, that's how to do it. So if you have any questions about editing the weights, uh, like I say, I don't generally spend a lot of time with that. If, it, if I can't get it working, I'll use some more clothing, but there's, it's pretty easy to get most of the clothing working properly.